All right, JD, get a good night's sleep. Sleeping early before midnight will ensure you always wake up fully rested and you don't have dark circles under your eyes. See? It's kind of crazy, right? Like, it's actually really cool. I, um, it gets pretty dark, though, like, around your eyes, and it was a little jarring the first time, and then I finally realized what it was. And I was like, oh, it's kind of a cool mechanic. Oh, God, Burgess. Hi! Hello, Builder. So nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I've come with a gift. Water, to be specific, the most precious gift of all. In, San in Sandrock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from other city states, but it's expensive. And so we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence popped up around our oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, don't take water out of the oasis all willy nilly or cut down trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew? Just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. Pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in the water tank, so I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. <laughs> he gives you a um a quiz down the road. I like to see how you're... I, it's either like if you're material for Sandrock or acclimating. And I gotta tell you, it's really fun pushing his buttons in that. <laughs> From the church, dear Jade, we have an important announcement uh, at tonight's fireside. Okay, we'll do that. Construction Junction. On behalf of my good friend, Mayor Trudy, who couldn't be available to write this letter, I'd like to extend the warmest regards from this neck of the woods. I own Construction Junction office next to City Hall, so if you're thinking of upgrading your workshop, stop in sometime. I'll show you the ropes. That's really nice. Okay. All right, so we'll put the rest of this water uh, into this. Thank you. Look at that. We got water. Actually, I do kind of want to... Can I move? No. Okay. I was kind of hoping if I moved. I expanded on the other thing, this out. So the interest... I just realized that though. Like, it actually um, jetted out past your house there. Okay. So once you basically expand this, I believe this line comes here. And then my house didn't move. So I just ended up pushing this flush against my house, which actually looks really nice, but I can't really do that here. Uh, yet, until we get the expansion. Sorry, we got... Did, did you not... Did I get everything? I guess so. Uh, wait. I thought we did this. No? Oh, no. What do I got here? Okay. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Stone scrap first. Do this in the right order. Thank you. Yeah, because, I mean, we could get bricks. Do that real quick. Um, we'll do... I'm actually going to put the crane lift here, too, just so I have an idea of what I need. Okay, so there's still a lot to get. Let's... Hmm. I'm trying to think about what the best order of things to do today is. We need to build weapons so we can start harvesting stuff at some point. That makes it sound more like a survival game than what it is. But you know what I mean. Let's first, first, we'll go and get some more scrap. Then we'll, then we'll debate on what else to do. But sometimes I forget to do this and that makes me sad. There is this right here. I mean, all the stone I can get at this point. Do, do. Okay, so here's the stone scrap. And yes, it's regen already. I believe it's just like one night for this. I don't know if this stays forever or if eventually it changes, but so far I've been able to come back every day. Do, do, do. Oh no, oh no, 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 she's going crazy. There we go. How many people, have we met? Hold on, have we met? I don't think we've met Bang yet, have we? Or did we? No, we gotta go meet him. That's on the to-do list today. And then who else do we need to meet that we haven't yet? I actually feel like we've met quite a few people. Mm -hmm. I know I still haven't met everybody in my current playthrough, but I just don't know if there's everybody to meet yet. Or I just haven't found them. There's like one person that I didn't even know existed because I live so out in the middle of nowhere, which I thought was really funny. So we'll have to like go check out to meet Mort together just to see like how his intro is otherwise okay is there i assume i can't do right the rubber yes yeah, the wrong okay 
So basically what we're doing is building a thing right here so we can go all the way down. You can kind of see it down there, that entrance, all the way at the bottom. That's where we're building a, uh, a lift to. So those, that's on the to-do list. Let's get this um, stone scrap going. Actually, I'm going to remove the crane and build a second um, recycler because I'm going to take my own advice for once in my life. Hi! Hey, Jade, how's it going on your end? My crane lift is almost done. No! Man, stop being so efficient. It's going great. My crane looks beautiful. It's a ghost crane. Top of the line. <laughs> Top of the line ghost crane. Okay, I need a recycle. I need a second one. Let's do this. What What do I need? Wood? Done. Stone trough. I didn't want to do that. Gra I need two ground. Oh, no. Do I have enough? Please let me have enough. Ye no. I need to go get stone. Do I stone now? No. Okay. Let's do stone scrap again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need stone. I need to go get it. Where am I going to go get it from? Gravel. Okay. We'll go find some gravel. Aha! Gravel's over here. Yay! At least the gravel's not too far from, like, our backyard. Do, 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 do. Like, I don't think anybody cares if we touch the sand grass. Like, I don't I don't think the sand grass is going to get us in trouble. So maybe that's the key. Sand grass is fine. Everything else, not so much. Oh, what's that in the middle over there? Oh, 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 you see that? Is that wood or is that stone? Wood pile, that's fine. And let's go. Let's go fight a chick. <laughs> I got to go do it. These things are hilarious and I love them. Look at them. Look at... Wait, level five? Are you a lower level? No, you're a four. All right, let's do it. Rocket roosters. This is, I think, what the hot chicks used to be. I know I need a weapon for easier combat, but... Not not yet. Do this. I don't know why. I have so I did it the last time. I fought a couple of these guys before I made my thing. I gotta see what my axe needs. Or my daggers. And then we're gonna... We're gonna do this. But sometimes they give rooster rockets. I don't know how to even use a rooster rocket. I have such a collection of them in my other playthrough, but they're so funny. Like, it's just, I don't know why I'm so amused by the fact that they called it rooster rockets. See, look at the tumbleweed going. That's just funny in the best way possible. Okay. Let's see if we gave ourselves any more. Oh, I got extra dew. Yes. Da, 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 da. Can I do this now? Yes. Woo. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And put it here. I feel like you can get these machines pretty close to the edge by comparison to what we used to be able to do, which is really nice actually. Let's do the bearings. Um and this. We got stone scrap and I need troughs. I can build another two. Okay, perfect. So I'll still need to get more, but that's just done, which is nice. And because a lot of the stuff can be just donated after um to to like the museum. So like if I don't end up needing two recyclers in the end, I'm not really worried about it. Because I can just go donate it. So there is that. Let's do that. Um, so I'm almost there. I've got enough bricks. I need more stone for sure. Let's see what time is it? I can go get I have a little bit more stamina. Oh, I was going to see what it took to make a weapon. That's what I was going to do. Um, I need, I like daggers. So I need thin thread. And I need, oh, cactus spikes are easy to get. So stone, cactus spike, thin thread. I think you just make it yourself with thin... No. Do I get it from this? That's plant fiber. Can you make thin, thre thin thread from this? I think so. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's get us. Can I kick the cactus? Things that you don't think you'll say. <laughs> can I kick a cactus? You can. It's normally not advised at all. Because <laughs> it hurts, but you can. 
Uh, let's see down here. Once you get the upgraded pit camera though, this game seems to uh, become a lot easier. Like it opens up because there's so many more things that you can get. Oh, we got knowledge points to spend. Yes. Okay. Knowledge points. Let's quickly do that. These are up here. So we've got two. Okay. So let's do... Do we want to do... Um, hmm. let's do the wood and let's do the stamina. Well, I feel like we need more stone right now than anything else, so let's do that. Yay! Mm -hmm. Wasn't there? Yeah, the stone piles down there that we didn't finish. Mm -hmm. I always forget that, like, to expand where I'm harvesting from, like, I always get so caught up just, like, harvesting and- Oh, no! My normal areas that I forget that, like, there's other places. Which I think is really funny. And I think, didn't they say the deadwood was fine to touch? Um, as far as like harvesting everything goes. These are all hard rock. Can't touch those yet. Look at that view though. They actually managed to make a desert look really pretty. Because normally you think, oh, it's just going to be boring, blah, blah, blah. It's just sand for miles. But they did a really nice job. Like the whole game is just pretty. Da, da, da. Oh no, we've got the hoojigama thingy today. The, uh, we can't forget that there's a meeting with Matilda and the rest of the town that starts in an hour. And if I don't show up to that, that's probably not a good thing considering I'm the new kid in town. See, and it reminds you. Actually, it's like the cutest little reminder. Yes, thank you. Uh, I don't necessarily need oregano right now. Good to know there's plenty going around my house. Okay, I don't have enough stamina. Okay, so let's, should we just head over? Probably. Um, you know what? I mean, yeah, it, time moves so, time moves so fast. We're, we're never gonna make it if I don't. I'm always afraid of like missing this stuff. Okay. So we'll go quickly. Why is everybody, wa why are you all walking away? We gotta go do this. Elsie. I need something I got a lot on my plate. Hurt the cattle, snag a few sandfish, get the horses out for a run. Not extra chores, but things that need doing. Okay. So here I am. Okay. So now this is the big intro. Simmer down now, y'all. Ahem. As many of you all know, our resident builder, Mason, who's been a hardworking member of our community, for many years will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders, Mian and Jade. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Thanks everyone, very excited to be starting here. I'm gonna do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Jade, care to say a few words? Um, <laughs> I the last time picked I want to make many friends and I thought that that was hilarious because she's like, wow, we've got a social butterfly on our hands. But let's try one of you a great builder. Well said, builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Okay, so I like that one. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't ha be, the, 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 we won't be hesitating to put you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. They look so cute. We have omelets courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. I get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, remember, conserve water. Okay. I got omelet. Hi, Heidi. Hey there, I'm Heidi, architect around these parts. Looks like old Mason hand and you down a real fixer upper of a workshop, huh? Lucky for you, I do plenty of fixing up. Come by my office sometime if you're looking to upgrade your workshop. Thank you, and I will. I think we said hi to Owen today. I don't know. How you doing? I can't believe they banned me from selling souvenirs at the fireside meeting. Oh, hi Jade. Could I interest you in a fireside themed facial cream used by our very own Matilda? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's funny. Oh, and did we talk today? No, we didn't. Getting Grace to cook omelets for a town meeting was my idea. Way I see it, once everyone's tried the sandfish omelet, they're gonna have to stop by the blue moon for more. This would work out even better if omelets were actually any good. We're getting there. I believe the omelets will be good one day. Okay, let's go home. Now that we said hi. Oh, there's Rocky. I'll go say hi to him. Rocky! You want to talk? 
Uh, hearing about everyone's communicating at the fireside meeting got me thinking. Maybe I should have something like that with me and my boys. Nah, I'll just sock them one whenever they take me off. I mean, that works. I'm... I don't know if Rocky is going to be a romance option. Like, now that we hit the, like, that wish list stretch goal thingy. Because he's not now. And Penn's not, but I know Penn is going to be. So there's that. We'll have to see. I'd be very curious. I never saw Fang today. No! We have to, soon. If not, he'll probably walk by our house at some point. Okay. We said hi to Unser today. It's starting to get kind of late, though. So you gotta go to bed by midnight. Or else you're gonna have dark circles under your eyes. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take this. Good. I, am, I don't have any more metal scrap. Do, what do I have here? Uh, I got 18 copper scrap. Take it all, please. Okay. Wait, it's only gonna cost me 22. You just fill it up to the top. Fill it up to the tippity top. Uh, stone trough. I can build three. So I just need to get a little bit more. And I can build it for... I can turn in the... How long do I... I know. Mm. Did I bite off more I could chew without commission? Commissions. Here we go. Commission. I got... Okay. One day, 15 hours. So we're fine. I can I can do that no problem tomorrow because it's just one that's left and we might I don't think we'll get anything out of those but still easy uh let's do this sort all this wouldn't happen to have a bonus nah it's all oh that jerky has this you know what let's do that um I got 14 I got 14 stamina now is that enough to get me just like a little bit of what I need. No, I didn't even finish it. Oh, uh, we're so weak. <laughs> we need more stamina. Soon, very soon. Okay, so we've got, what is the last thing that I need for the daggers? So we need to make thin thread, which I can do now. That's thin thread, I need two. I want to make tea. Thank you. Um. Okay, that, that, and I need eight stone. But my stone is currently being used for the stone troughs. <sighs> I always need more stuff. Okay. So I got another knowledge point now. Uh, this. What do I got? Here. Workshop. Okay. Uh, stat furniture. No. When constructing things on the assembly table or on the work. Let's do the work table first. Because I feel like I'm using my work table more than anything else. So we'll do that. Okay, let's get some sleep. So in that way, she's fully rested in the morning. And then we're going to do what? In the morning, we'll get the rest of the stone, deliver the stone troughs, pick up another commission, work on getting our daggers and finishing up this crane. All right, y'all. So this is not a welcome back because you are in the middle of an episode, but I haven't recorded in a few days. And with it, the voice acting has come into the game because the game is officially in early access. Yay. But with that being said, I get to now pick a voice for my builder. It's actually really cool that they've done this as um, in Portia when like voice acting got added during early access and stuff. You ended up just having to start a new character as far as I remember to get it. So uh, this is cool. I think I've been picking this one. Okay. So, since I last played, um, like I said, we've gone into full early access, um, which has been amazing. And I've been noticing a lot of people are like already done with some of the content or people are finding new and interesting things to do in the game. So I am excited to explore it all. I'm definitely going to be taking my time with this as I know that because it is early access, um, there isn't as much to do, obviously, as when it launches fully. So there doesn't really seem to be a need to rush. <laughs> and I definitely, like, want to enjoy my time and, like, take my time. Um, so we got something from the Tumbleweed Standard. Oh, okay, right. I'm um, vocational vacancy vacated. Fresh faces. Logan's still at large. Okay, so that's the Tumbleweed Standard. Oh, Mama! Jade, I miss you. It's hard to believe only a few days have passed since you left for Sandrock. Your father and I are already missing you so much. Even when you were small, you were always wandering away from us. Sometimes I would just let you walk and see how far you'd go, but I'd always get nervous before you did. So I guess we should have seen this coming. I'm so proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things at your new job. 
No one else jumped at the chance to take that contract because it'll be tough, but you took it anyways. I know you'll be able to bring Telesis to Sanrock. I just wish you'd take care of yourself a bit better. Those quilts I folded for you are still sitting by the door. Do you want me to mail them to you? The desert gets really cold at night, I've heard. We're so happy you're independent now, but Sanrock can be dangerous. So please don't hesitate to ask us for help. Your father's doing well. He's converting your room into a garden for his bonsai trees. I think he doesn't want to admit it, but seeing your empty room made him kind of sad. He says he'll move the trees out and let you back in any time, so I hope you're not offended. Anyways, I've sent you some money for quilts. Let me know when you're settled in, and remember to take care of yourself, ma. And yeah, we got stuff. The, the letter, first of all, I love that I can favorite stuff, but the letter from mom is like literally one of my... Um, favorite things <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um like that was such a like irl parent letter i hope you're having fun but are you taking care of yourself <laughs> the desert's cold <laughs> i'm fine mom <laughs> oh my gosh it's very adorable okay uh so that's still working we got this i am all out of space but mom sent money so i can buy a few more backpack slots thanks mom you paid for backpack slots <laughs> i need one more brick can i not okay i gotta go do that do we have any um we do have a commission for okay i need one more of those so let me put that as on the giants oh, okay i gotta go talk to chi as well first though let's go do this and then um we'll go back and finish up this and then we'll get another commission keep going with all the picking up the slack stuff your character effect special effects on your character wait the special effects wait what oh right i forgot i have a new i got that honestly i still i really like the no it's not this shirt it's a different shirt miri's wearing it um I actually really like that one. I think I got it as a rope. Well, I bought it, but I think I also ended up getting it as a reward. Oh, and I found a spot where they have um, daggers. So I don't, because I think we were talking about me building daggers, but I don't need to because I found them. So I'm going to go get them. That's super important. Well, let's go get the dagger. So then that way we don't have to worry. And everybody's commented that they've been, they've been like, beating this sand grass up <laughs> and they haven't gotten into trouble so i'm gonna trust you guys and keep doing that and uh, hope i don't actually get in trouble yeah that's exactly oh wait can i did i get enough brick uh to make one more brick uh no i need to go get one more piece of stone okay where is this going is it going to elsie oh <gasps> there you are fang hi 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 can we say hi we haven't uh, met. Wait, we haven't. Want? We haven't met, Matt. Oh no! Uh, I thought we had. You must be looking for the doctor. X has voice acting, dude. We have something for you. For a new person. Jack. No danger at all. Thank it, you, Jack. <laughs> Tell us what happens. Should be safe. Should be. Should be. I like it that like they're experimental in their medicine. I'm the brain. Needs. Query X. Oh! He has voice. I haven't heard his voice acting yet. I know, like, we so we streamed this. And I heard some people's voice acting slash. I hopped in myself and played a smidge. Uh, and I heard some people's voice acting. But I actually haven't heard Fangs yet. Can I hear that again? Have needs? Query X. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, ups I'm not upset by that. Actually, Owen's voice acting. I was pleasantly. I, honestly, I don't know if I'm, like, upset by any of this voice acting. Do you have any lines? Hello. Yeah. When you're out here in the desert, Builder, do sweat all the little details. You never know what could go wrong. Okay. Be seeing you. Bye. He pronounced his name unsure. I thought it was unsir. So that's interesting. I need to drop off my commission. Where is Elsie? Okay. Um. Let me do this. Because I, no matter how often I play a game, I'm always that person that gets lost in the menus. Like, seriously, I've played some games far, far too much, and I still get lost in the menus. Welcome to Sandrock. I'm Mabel. 
My husband Cooper and I run the largest Yakmo ranch south of the Eufaula. Ever tried Yakmo milk before? It's got an acquired taste. Here, take a couple of bottles. It's our way of saying, howdy do, neighbor. Oh my god. Wait, no! No! I gotta get more inventory space. Basically, upgrade your backpack to the first to the rest of the first page ASAP. I think Mabel and her husband are both adorable. Or oh, they added two Okay, so they did add new horses into this. Or are there just more here? Um I got to the horse riding part on my other save. Um, it feels really smooth. Elsie! Hey! Hey! You want this? Shoot, when did I post that commission again? That was mighty quick. Wait, I'll tell my Yakmal about this. Hey! Nice seeing ya! Aw, oh, I wish there was more excitement around here. Why can't we be on the edge of the peripheries or something? Honestly, this is plenty. Bye! This is Bye! It's plenty exciting! Is your dad here? Because I haven't, like, said hi. Oh, there he has to be. Cooper! Howdy there, partner. Can't say I recognize you. Afraid I ain't got time for pleasantries at the moment. Speak with Mabel if you have business with the ranch. Okay, Why I just... Why are you still here? Are you expecting a handout? Now listen here. No. When I was your age, I was taking care of 15 yakmo. 15? 45 chickens, 12 brothers and sisters, and nobody, not once, not never, I said nobody ever gave me nothing for free. So I ask myself now, what in the same heck would I be doing if I... You decide to back away slowly. Honestly, he has the biggest dad energy I've ever seen in my life in a game, and I wish I could tell you how much I'm here for it. Like, he's definitely got that, like, dad, dad energy. I'm so happy by that. Okay, by the way, in case you haven't been to the ranch store yet, uh, let me please show you this. Look at them. I wish you could rotate, but look at, apparently, eventually we'll get this. Look at them. This one's kind of terrifyingly adorable. But look at this little baby yakmal. Oh my gosh. They're so tiny. I kind of hope that eventually um like we can see like baby yakmo on the ranch like if that makes sense like for one season a year like out of the year like you kind of see a few babies roaming around because that would be really adorable because the baby models are just so cute i just feel like it'd be such a waste if you only saw like the babies like you know from whatever you're doing and then they grow up and then they're you know they put so much work into it. Also, there they are. There are my daggers. Give me these back. Okay, can I do this? I did it once. Oh. You gotta, like... Sad! Is it gonna give them to me? Yeah, it did! Okay. Can I... And it's actually gonna let me break this up here? Yes! Alright, JD. So now, we got daggers. Where are they? Alright, we're gonna put them here. It looks so good. All right, so we got daggers on our back. I didn't have to build anything. Thank goodness. Ah, there's trash. I gotta go pick that up. It's free stuff. Free XP. Free stuff. Pick up the trash. That's worth it. Doesn't even eat your stamina up. She, can we talk? A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? I don't know. A data disk? Yeah. Allow me to explain. Okay. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. How many more? Gee, how many more data disks do you need from me? Okay. Um. Do that. Oh, so, um, when I was playing before, before like the game fully launched, the Dew Collector was actually its own thing over here. You didn't actually need the Recycler, but it does make sense that you need the Recycler. I do like how this is branching. Honestly, if you played, um, 
Portia, you'll know that it was, it wasn't RNG on how you got to, oh, his tea set is gorgeous. Oh, I hope we can get that for our house. And like this lattice stuff, like this is all gorgeous. Um, but the data discs, they're not RNG in the sense that like, you don't know what you're going to get because if you research it, you can see that there is actually a set pattern to, um, for three data discs, you get X, Y, and Z, and it's in that particular order. Five data discs get you X, Y, and Z in its particular order, so on and so forth. So it made sense, uh, but at the same time, it did take forever uh, to research everything. So I think my biggest gripe with Portia in part was that we'd get to a certain point and I'd forget to have researched like 20 data disks three times to get like that one machine that I needed and then I'd need it for a commission and I'd have to wait. And then by the time like I was done, Higgins had already beat me kind of thing, you know? I'm um, so yeah, I'm just really happy now that we get to pick and choose. So if you run into one of those situations, you should be okay provided you did it, you know, you did the stuff prior. Um, but they added the cemetery. It was so funny rolling through um, this on the day it launched into early access, given the build I had versus this build and how things have changed. I just, I absolutely love it. It's already like, you can see like the vast changes and, and everything and they're hot fixing this game nonstop. Mort! <gasps> Hello, young one. Hi. You're no doubt the new builder, yes? I am. I am. It's nice to meet you. I'm Mort, and I've been here for, shall we say, quite some time. <laughs> I'm the caretaker of Sandrock Cemetery. Do feel free to stop by and share with me your musings. I have a lot of time, and I think you'll find me to be a good listener. Howdy. Hi. Wait, can I get my first point with you? I pray that I never find myself digging as much as you builders do. Honestly, considering that your job isn't is to babysit the cemetery, yeah, I hope so too. Leave that to me. That's fine. Oh my God, the mort's adorable. Like, it's kind of like Gandalf and Dumbledore mushed. Not. Like, first movie Dumbledore for Harry Potter, not, not like the other Dumbledore, but like OG Dumbledore. That's kind of how it feels, and I'm here for it. We need, sorry, we need wood sticks, thick rope, copper sticks. I need one more brick, and I need a crane lift. There's also that down there, and I don't know if I'm, like, I went down there once, and there was nothing. I already have the bus stops. So I guess I'm going to build bus stops for this game, which would be fun. Um, but yeah, we'll see. There's a bunch of stuff coming up that I'm actually so oh, I got knowledge points. Super excited for. Uh, story wise, there we go. Knowledge, yes. Okay, so this is the social knowledge experience gained when socializing increases 10%. Uh, XP gained from interacting with townsfolk in day to day life. Okay, so let's do. Let's do this one first, then I'll do this one. This, I think, okay, this is commission. So actually this one should probably go next. Ah, you're a new builder. I am. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sandrock back into the jewel of the desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. Eh, that's a mouthful. Kinda it is. It's better phrasing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. Thanks, Katori. Literally like one of the nicest beans ever. Okay, so now we can basically pick this up that I've been trying to pick up for the last like 10 minutes. I'm just trying to think like, I've got the stamina. It's already, okay. You know what? Let's, hi Sandy. No? Okay. Let's go and start to get more stuff. Just because, like, I do need to get this crane built so we can go into the m ruins. I'm actually really excited. I like the ruins a lot in this game. Um, They almost have, like, Horizon Zero Dawn vibes, if you've ever played that game. Um, With the way they look like actual ruins, I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. Nothing else got completed necessarily, which is fine. Do I have anything I can sort all with? Oh, 
space in my inventory. Perfect. Let's go. First, let's go get the specialty stuff up there. And then we'll go and try to get pretty much everything else that we need. Because mm -hmm. the, um, I like it though that once you open up the mind, the place at the top before you go in, or the abandoned ruins, why do I keep wanting, I mean, you do mine there, so I guess it would make sense that I call them mines in the back of my head, but I do like it that it doesn't go away, like the scrap up there, like it's still there, which is super handy because that's kind of one of the only places in the early game, um, for like mechanical scrap and stuff like that. We can fight rocket chicks now. Wait, rocket roosters? Rocket roosters, I think is what they're technically called. We can like 1v1 them now, which is incredibly exciting. Also, to the people that have commented about the Dinas, um, that sand-like substance that you need to like make glass and stuff like that. So it turns out that it is now in the mines and I saw it. Um, in, oh, did I already do that? Did it not regen or did that change? Oh, weird. Um, it turns out that just what I was playing on when I was in, like when I went down in the abandoned ruins, it wasn't giving me any. Like, it just wasn't there for some reason. I don't know if I had had, like, a small bug or what, but it's fine now. Um, so my other playthrough, uh, I was able to get an abundance of. So, yay, I have plenty now. <laughs> so, yay. Um, I was very relieved to see it just, like, everywhere in the mines, basically, after. And I was like, oh, that's such good news, because I was really worried that, like, I don't know, it would be, like, an impossible resource to get. Because if it was, like, Bloodstone... 2.0 even bloodstone though in porsche isn't super bad to get mainly because once you know what gives bloodstone you can just get a bunch of it um and just continually harvest it which is what i was i had done back in the day it's just so funny though that like i guess funny is the wrong word but it's just crazy to think that we're already here like everybody's playing porsche i uh, have porsche sandrock and like uh I've been waiting for this game for so long. I'm just so excited. All right, let's do one more brick. Yes, one more. Please take a little bit more of that. I was actually surprised how easy power stones were to get in the mines. It was uh, pleasantly surprised, that is. Because uh, I just feel like I remember power stones being a little bit harder to get in Porsche. So the fact that it wasn't super, super bad made me really happy. I actually have a, a fair amount of them. Um, hmm. I don't need the rubber scrap right away. So do I want copper or stone? I mean the stone scrap, like if she's going to bed soon. So let's just do the, the this because I'm not gonna be able to babysit it, you know? Perfect. So copper scraps in the queue. Can I install the bearings? Oh no. Oh, I forgot you could do that. That's really cool. And you can retrieve all of this way. As opposed to like needing to go up to the the little like kiosk thing. Uh, not kiosk. What would you call that? That's really nice. Okay, so we need rope. I can make three. Okay, so I do need to go chop down a whole bunch of that. Because mm -hmm. I need plant fiber. Perfect. We'll get all the plant fiber. Be able to do this. Get this crane done. My hope is that by the end of the next episode... This crane is done. Actually, by the end of... I don't know if I'll be able to get it done by the end of the next day. That's, that's kind of like my outward hope, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, I don't know if these are okay. I think somebody had mentioned that literally anything that can be kicked is not a good idea to chop down because I got in trouble for it. But if it doesn't have a kick on it, then you're good to just chop it down. So... I think I'm gonna go with that philosophy for now. On the same token, I do wanna know what happens if I chop down a tree and then Burgess comes for me and then I do it again and Burgess comes for me again. Like, do I like lose all my rep with the town? What happens? I don't know, I'm kinda, I'm kinda curious. We might experiment because the nice thing about this game is that we have multiple save files. So I can easily test this out <laughs> and then reload a save because I don't really want to make everybody mad at me, but it still would be cool to try out. 
Okay, so if literally the only thing we're missing is copper sticks and I've got copper running around in there, then yeah, we're totally going to be fine to finish this. Next episode. Yay, but we still have like an hour before dark circles. So let's collect a little bit more plant fiber while I'm, I know while I'm here. Let's just make sure we have it. Oh, you know what? Also some of this. Like just use it up. Use that stamina up. Because I gotta tell you, I don't want to go to bed with too much stamina. I, it's like one of my pet peeves that I do to myself is not use up all my stamina. And then I'm missing resources because I didn't take- Aye, JD, you got this. Oh, it's a little sand crab. And he boofed. Goodbye, little sand crab. We'll see you a different day. Okay. Let's go to bed and, uh, and, and finish that crane and get all that done tomorrow. <laughs>